Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today I am going to do one of those videos that I do for me, you just come along for the ride because I feel like this holds me accountable. I started three months ago doing the Maxi Life Goal Assessment Program? System? I don't know what we're calling it. I just use their compass and their like questions for assessment. I did this back in June, end of June, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be interested to see how it's changed. I kind of said that I was going to do one every quarter and reassess, but that's the plan. I'm going to do the questions again, just to see if I'm on track, compare them to when I did it the previous quarter do my life compass, see what areas I want to change, and then I'm going to do my monthly goals for October. So this is the monthly goals page. All I've done, I got questions about this. All I did for this was I took their page, I input, because this is on two pages in the Maxi Life system, I took it, imported it into Canva, and then just smushed it down onto one page. So yeah, this is on their website, but it's a two-page spread on their website. So head to the Maxi Life website because you can get these free printables to do your own goal setting. So that's the plan. All right, so I've done the question assessment thing. I've put in a little thing here. This is in the actual Maxi Life planner, but I don't have that. So we're just going to go with it. I put this as quarter three, that will be this assessment. And then I'm gonna put the previous numbers in here. So I've done a little color coded thing using the pens. These are pens from Walmart. So again, just doing it on the cheap here. So my personal is at 56. My fun and recreation is at 50, 54 for family. 54 for work and learning, family and relationships are at 48. This is out of 80. The health and wellness is at 46. Spiritual growth is at 49. Finance is at 64. And physical environment is 45. So I'm going to pop those in and then we'll compare them to the previous ones. So let's have a look at the previous ones. We had, oh, they're the wrong ones. I know I printed them in a really weird order. Oh yeah, you're supposed to divide it by eight. Poop. I'm glad I made a note to myself to round down. All right, I just forgot to divide those. So we had a 6.75 here. We had a 5.1, That's they've gone up, that's nice. 5.5, 6.1. Six point three, six point two five, eight point two five, and five point five. So some of them have stayed the same. My fun and recreation went up. I'm not surprised. I just came back from vacation. My work and learning has gone up, and health and wellness has gone up, which surprised me because that's the one that I thought would have gone down. So that was interesting. So let's have a look. I'm going to fill in these with where we are now and where I would like them to be. Where I would like them to be is not where they are right now. I'll tell you that much. I saw this done and I thought it was kind of cool that they put a little bubble and a seven. I've been looking at a few of the maxi life things and how people do it. And it's funny to see that some people do it completely different to how it is in the actual book but I guess that's one of the good things you can just make it however you want it to be I'm just loosely coloring these in I don't care that it's perfect now I did go in just before I hit record to update my monthly goals and stuff like that and my annual goals just to see where I was if I was on track if I was behind it's interesting to see that I'm behind on the thought, the things I thought I was ahead on and ahead on the things I was thought I was behind on. So that was interesting. All right. As we move into the next quarter, there's two things I want to focus on. And one of them is my physical environment, which I want to get to a seven. 
And the other one is um, health and wellness, which I want to get to a nine. So that's where they will be. Fun and recreation, I'm just going to put it to a seven. Work and learning, I would like to take up to an eight. Family and relationships, I'm going to put as a seven. Spiritual and personal growth, I'm going to do as a seven because again, I want my health and wellness and the physical environment to be the focus here. Financial, I would like to get to a nine. Okay. Oh, and personal, let's just bump that up to one there. Okay, and that is that done for the quarter. I think moving forward, when I do this again in like late December, early January, whenever that will be, it will be in a different size planner. So look out for that. <laughs> look out for that. So let's go to my monthly goals. So as we look at my monthly goals, and this is for October, I have already kind of figured out things that I want to do. When I was on vacation, I did some kind of soul searching on stuff. So we're going to go into that. I'm going to write this out and then I will do the voiceover of what each little section is going to be. All right. So for my personal category, my focus is memories and um, not only documenting the memories, but making the memories. So I would like to do a photo shoot with Stella this fall, whether it is just fall or Halloween. I just need to take more photos in general. For some reason in summer, I just fell off taking photos. So I want to get back to that for Stella, for me, for memories and that kind of stuff. The other thing, and I've put a question mark on this section, but we're talking about getting one of the puppies from the litter that Stella's breeder just had. I don't know whether we will, but we're talking about it. And I have a massage booked for this month. For fun and recreation, my focus is play. I need a play date for myself. And that's something that I need to kind of think about moving forward every month. Whether that is just going out and visiting the craft stores, the dollar store or something like that. I need something where I do something for myself every month. So I need to figure out what that's going to be. For Stella, I want to get her assessed at one of the doggy daycare places so that she can go play. And I would like to get her back into the pack at her breeders and because that's where she stayed when we were on vacation. I just want to keep that connection of her and her parents and the pack. And I want to continue with my art journaling. I've really been enjoying that over the last kind of month. And I want to continue with that. For work and learning, the focus is prepare. So I want to do my two Etsy products for the month. And the prepare aspect of this is that I'm going to prepare four videos for Planmas in December. So in December, I'm going to upload a video every day, which is what I used to do before I got Stella. But that is the plan for December is one video every day. I would like to read the HB90 book. And I want to go back to Duolingo every day because that is the learning aspect of this category. And I would also like to set up one of my tablets or an old phone that is just for this channel. So it is just like this, the Instagram for this channel, the YouTube for this channel, and then hopefully get more interactive in the back end of things and have it on me all the time because having two channels it's just a pain in the butt to change things on YouTube so I would hopefully get that set up as well and create some kind of charging station for it in my office. In family and relationships my goal is to connect so I've talked before but one of the goals for this year was to get Stella to all of the parks in the city and we're getting there so I want to add three more to that this month I would like to meet up in person with two of my friends. I put Deborah and Darla in there. I would like to get back to sending cards, just like random cards to family, to friends and stuff like that. I've put date night with Bob, which will be on my keto day off and check in with my mum more often. So for health and wellness, my goal is to get back to basics. That is getting back to drinking all of my water each day, getting back to my 10k steps each day and 
I've put to document this better because I'm not very good at checking in with my wellness planner and I want to do better with that. And I'm hoping that part of that will help me redefine what the wellness planner is going to be in Q4 and moving into 2024. Um, I've also put in here goals for November, December and 2024. Again, that ties into figuring out what the heck I am doing. Because when I broke my last year, if you remember, when I was doing my wellness planner, I was doing like monthly goals and monthly challenges for myself. I want to get back to that because since I broke my kneecap, that has been lacking. So I'm hoping to get back into that in 2024. For spiritual and personal growth, I've put baby steps, and it, that is just getting back into pulling my daily tarot, back into journaling and goal setting and stuff like that, because I've been on vacation for two weeks, and it's just, I haven't done that, so I just want to make sure that I get back into those routines. For my financial category, I've put update, and that is basically doing my September bookkeeping, adding to my investments and all of that, and also I would like to sell my massage table. I have a massage table in my house. I was using it when I was doing my one-on-one -on -one, um, somatic practice and I want to sell it. It's just taken up room and I don't have that much room in my Zenden. So I'm going to sell that table. Hopefully, even if I get like 20 bucks for it, it's better than nothing. It's better than it taking up space in my room. And I want to get in, into recycling and using the money from the recycling to buy things for this channel. So whether it's a new sticker book or something like that, but I'm hoping that I can at least use that money and I'm calling it cans for craft. <laughs> cans for crafting. So that is a little kind of side project that I'm going to have and I will allow myself to buy something full price should I want to. I know, shocker. So for physical environment, I've put routines and schedules. And again, it's getting back into my usual routines. So my fly lady routines, my fly lady, um, my fly lady cleaning routine. And also I have some jobs that I want to do. One of them is digging over the back garden. I want to prepare it for putting some new grass down. I want to move some planters, take out some bulbs. I want to buy a new living room and office rug. And I need to do some maintenance on the front garden too. I would like to get one thing done on the main bathroom renovation. It's been in a state of renovation for far too long. And so I need to give my husband a prod of getting at least one thing done each month for that renovation. I would like to get two done. I'm going to be optimistic and just say one. And I need to research a new desk for my craft room because I, I feel like I do better when I stand up to do projects on here. So I'm thinking of getting another standing desk that is movable up and down so that I can sit or stand. But that would involve getting a new lighting and camera rig. So I need to do some research on that before I even think about pulling that trigger. All right, so those are my goals for the month of October. I'm happy that all of my compass things, my compass categories have either stayed the same-ish or they've gone up, even if it's just slightly. Like it's a movement in the right direction. So yes, that is my goal setting for October. Let me know what goals you're setting for October in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this and you got some use out of it. Let me know if you're using the Maxi Life system. And if you're not using Maxi Life, then what system are you using for your goal setting? All right, until next time, my planner pals, bye.